important, uh, of national importance. It's, it's been a rough couple of weeks, as you probably know, for the president and vice president. Mm. Attorney General Janet Reno announced she's taking the first steps toward appointing a special prosecutor to investigate possibly illegal fundraising done by Bill Clinton and Al Gore at the White House. Well, President Clinton agreed to come here tonight and talk to us about this entire scandal. Please welcome, live via satellite, President Bill Clinton. We'll find out what's going on. Hey there. Man. How you doing, man? I'm doing real good. It is good to see you, Mr. President. I say nee, I say nee, I say nee, <laughs> All right, that's... that's... Man, I am one excited chief executive, man. Well, well, that's, that's great. Why is that, sir? Well, crisp fall weather's coming, the economy is still strong, and best of all, this Sunday is the premiere of the Jenny McCarthy Show. I say <laughs> nee, woo-hee, I will go, I will go. Wait a minute. <laughs> Stop that. All right, now, Mr. President, yeah, there, there are far more pressing concerns. I'd like to press her concerns. Woo! Okay, all right, that's great. Ah. <laughs> great. Sir, come on, we got to... Conan Mint, Conan Mint, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You got to forgive me, man. I'm going through a midlife crisis, man. I just, Conan, try to understand. I just dropped off my sweet honey, little honey bun off to college. So, uh, so, so you're, you're going to miss, you're going to miss Chelsea. Chelsea. Oh yeah, yeah, her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, her too. Okay, that's. <laughs> yeah, that's getting hot in here. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's, uh... Yeah, yeah, I'm Miss Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. That's that's great, sir. Let's move on. Yeah, yeah. Now, sir, let's talk about the uh, issues here for a second. Uh -huh. You and Al Gore are accused of making calls to big campaign donors from the White House. <laughs> Conan, man, that law is like 115 years old. So? Conan, sometimes laws have been around so long, man, try to understand, they just don't have relevance anymore, you know what I mean? Like the Ten Commandments. What? You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? Well, you know, like that one. <laughs> that... <laughs> Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. <laughs> Okay. Oh man! Who wrote that? I mean, what was that guy yeah, thinking? Yeah, God wrote that. Okay. Oh, a different stroke. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Great, <laughs> sir. Sir, whether the law is old or not, it's pretty clear. You can't right. make fundraising calls from the White House. I know, Conan. It's a nutty law, but look, I don't do it anymore. Okay. See, when I made fundraising calls from mine and Hillary's bedroom at the White House, well, that was illegal, all right. Well, yeah, that's right. So now when I make a phone call from Sharon Stone's bedroom at the Hyatt Regency, that's cool. <laughs> it's all right. See, I'm obeying the law. That's, see, that's all the upshot of this, Conan, is the federal government is forcing me to cheat on my wife. That's not true, sir. <laughs> that is, no, they're not. You're misreading this. Now, let's talk about the vice president. But don't give me that serious face. I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to you. All right. <laughs> I hate the serious. Stop it. Come on. Let's go. All right. Let's talk about the vice president. Sorry. That's all right. I just thought about Sharon Stone. I'll Shut up. <laughs> Stop it. Now let's talk about the vice president. Okay. In 1996, in 1996, Al Gore alone made something like 46 phone calls to donors from his White House office. That's a lot of phone calls. Well, Conan, understand. Al Gore has to make a lot of calls, because people usually hang up on him the first few times. <laughs> See, they think it's one of those computerized sales messages. But I'm telling you, he raised hundreds of thousands of dollars over the phone. Well, Al's good at it, man. See, the thing about Al is Al doesn't even need human contact, see? <laughs> Al can talk directly to people's mo modems, man. It's weird. He can transfer money right out of their electronic bank accounts. Get on out here and show them how you do it, Al. Show them, man. Check it out. That's great. That's great. Thank you very much. All right. 
Sir, Man. sir, Al, yeah, yeah, he's very good, yeah. He but Al, is good. Yeah, Al Gore knew what he was doing in 96. Right. He knew it was wrong because in 94 when he raised campaign money, he actually took a car across town away from the White House to make phone calls. So he knows what he's doing. Uh -huh. Conan, there's an easy, simple explanation for that. The phones at the White House were tied up that whole year. Really? Was there some kind of international crisis? No, man. Pizza Hut had just introduced that cheese in the crust pizza stuff. See, <laughs> I was hard nosed by the truckload. Okay. On all right, all right. Well, well listen, that's great. Well, with Janet Reno. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good cracker, yeah. All right. Well, with Janet Reno getting involved now, aren't you worried that this fundraising scandal is going to get bigger and bigger? Look, man, I'm not worried, all right? Not really. I mean, let's face it. These things. These scandal things, they just seem to work out for me. You know what I'm saying? It just seems like every time I get a new scandal going, someone else does something either more outrageous or more weird than me. <laughs> I mean, it's great. And then I'm in the clear, man. I, and right now, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge these great Americans right now for their selfless commitment to their president. O.J. Simpson. <laughs> Tanya Harding. Michael Jackson, <laughs> Hugh Grant. Well, well, sir, wait a minute. Hugh, Hugh Grant, he, he's not a man. Shut up, man. I'm on a roll. Okay. <laughs> Frank Gifford, Mr. Eddie Murphy, <laughs> former champ Mike Tyson, <laughs> Gary Burgo. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Gary Burgo. Trust me, man. It's going to be ugly. <laughs> I'm privy to information. Okay. I and wanna... of course, there. When I needed him most, this week's hero, Mr. Marv Albert. Give it up, man. Conan, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> All right, Marv. You ready, Marv? Check this out, Conan. Marv, you're here to help me out, right? Yes. You're going to beat that rap, right? Yes. But you do like three ways, right? Yes. How about four ways? Yes. All right, man. All right, that's great. <laughs> wait, wait, I got one more. Mark, who's your favorite rock group from the 70s? Rush! <laughs> Ain't that funny? I need, I Thank you very much, uh, President uh, Clinton, and of course, Mark Alford. We'll take a little break right now. When we come back, Tom Arnold will join us.